For those that struggle with depression or anxiety, but still have big goals for success, what do you recommend to overcome the lack of motivation or distraction that comes from those disorders? So specifically to this question, uh, Helena, if someone is diagnosed with depression or someone has anxiety, um, I would not be able to specifically talk about in medical terms if someone has diagnosis how they should work toward achieving their goals. But in general terms, in uh, a larger scheme for anyone who wants to achieve or accomplish their goals, there are a few steps that I can suggest. Number one, I would say break down. Break down the big goals that you have into smaller goals. And those smaller goals will help you be more comfortable and not be as intimidating. A big goal could become more intimidating for someone and people might get nervous or anxious about achieving a really large goal. But when you break it down into smaller goals, it really uh, makes you comfortable. Number two, I would say evaluate. Once you have executed your plan on to working towards your small goals, evaluation is one process through which you can stay focused and continue to work towards achieving that larger goal. The way you can do, I would say, evaluate is, number one, get a feedback. So if you work in a job, if you work on a business of your own, either way you have interaction with people from outside. So whatever feedback you get from these people will help you understand whether you're on track, whether you're on track on achieving these small goals. The other way where someone can actually evaluate is by understanding or self-evaluating their own performance and this is through reflection you may not be able to interact with other people maybe you are in a profession where you're just working by yourself you need to understand whether you're on goal or not the best way to evaluate your performance in that case would be by self-reflection when you evaluate yourself there are two possibilities number one you'll either get a positive feedback or you'll get not so positive or negative feedback when you get a positive feedback from people on the outside, your team, your customers, boss, whoever that may be, you know that you're on track. And if you do self-evaluation and you get positive feelings or positive feedback, then obviously you know you're still on track to achieve the next goal uh, after your smaller goal that you have achieved. But the other possibility of getting a negative feedback, a lot of times we feel like that disappointment or nervousness or anxiousness of not even moving forward towards achieving that goal. My recommendation is to shift focus. Shifting focus is actually a way that really is very effective, specifically has worked in a lot of scenarios in my life where you move away from that mini goal, the small goal that you had set for yourself, you move away from it and put your focus on something else. It could be running, it could be meditation, it could be music it could be any activity in my case i have noticed that it really helps me make a better decision when i go back to achieving whatever that goal is it feels like that a lot of times i have to force myself to get an answer and get it now a lot of times under high stress situations i'm unable to find an answer so making a shift or going away temporarily from that task really sometimes has helped me make better decisions when I come back to achieving that goal. If you'd like to submit a question or comment about personal improvement, click on IXL series at kitgupta.com.